and we welcome you back to today's minor league pregame show as we close in on double-A Eastern League Baseball with our Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Al Kaline is our man to watch. As he enters this new month having put together a consistent and solid performance over the previous month. EK, we all know he's one of the top minor league prospects in baseball, so do you think his recent play really helps his chances of moving up? Well, if he continues to put up numbers like that, I'd say he's definitely going to force the organization's hand. It's hard to say, though. Every club has a lot of guys in their system that they hope will mature into big league talent, so there are often a lot of tough decisions to make as far as who goes up, who goes down. Now, most people believe this guy should be on the fast track to the majors, and I can't say I disagree, but I know the front office will want to make sure that He's ready for the next level before they make any kind of move. All right, the guys and I'll be back. The show's continuing coverage of Eastern League Baseball is on the air. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Erie Seawolves. And as we close in on first pitch, there you get a look at the starting lineups this afternoon. Al Kaline will get his first shot here, and he certainly had it working so far this season, up over 350 entering play. Hey, stay hot now. Nobody back. Nobody here we back. go. Here we go. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. Two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 21 for him on the season as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Well, there are curveballs that have some pretty good bite to them, and then there's some hangers. And this, folks, well, this is a hanger. You can see his eyes light up on that one. That's a mistake pitch if I've ever seen it double Chris Alonso will come forward now he's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances here he comes on two and two now a swing and a high fly ball and this one has some carry on it to deep right field K-line has to retreat to the track but he has it to retire the side so they go quietly here in this half inning Last half of the fifth coming up. The Sea Wolves lead it two to one. Al Kaline will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gates. It really got these guys off to a fast start. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And this is knocked down on the mound. Throw is low, and he can't get it to stick in the webbing. And the key to this is that he's running hard out of the batter's box all the way. Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the double-A Eastern League. It's the finale of this four-game series between the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Erie Seawolves. Al Kaline will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. Al Kaline. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Oh, a nice stop. He's to his feet. Can he get it there? Nope, he couldn't get his all into the throw, and the result is a two-out base runner. 
And even if this doesn't lead to a run, it's important not to let this guy get out there and skate through the first inning, throwing as few pitches as he has. If nothing else, maybe you force him to throw another, I don't know, five, six, seven pitches to the next hitter. Okay, first pitch strike. Get ahead right here. Now here's the first pitch. Lenny Rogers is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Plays that one now. Here we go now. Let's go. He's running towards second. Pitch is a called strike. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. And here he's thinking with two away, even if I get thrown out, I'll get this guy a second chance to start the next inning with a fresh count. But hey, it worked out in their favor anyway. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Two out here and a runner in second. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And they are on the board. The run scores from second to narrow the gap to 3-1 now. Well, he gives this ball a pretty good ride. No shot to get this one as it's going to wind up hitting on the track and one off the ball out there. He's going to wind up pulling in second with an RBI double. Chris Alonso will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. K-line is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Al Kaline will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Right fielder, Al Kaline. Going up now. Come on, guys. First offering on the way. Hey, here we go. Oh, high, deep. Where will this one come down? Now that is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Solo shot here to left, number 22 on the year, and it's now 6 to 4. You just can't throw that pitch right now. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game, too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. K-Line will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game. Hey, here we go. No outs now. Let's go, K. Come on, one time right here. Now the a swing, and now this go, ball's got some carry to it. High and deep out to center. And that ball is gone! Home run! Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game. It's now 7 to 4. Now, this for a welcome to the ball game. One pitch and see you later. I've got a feeling that's not what the manager has in mind. Stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. And he throws.
throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. His third home run of the ball game as they jump ahead by three. Chavis will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Swing and a shot toward right center. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there. And that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Well, maybe a little problem is that they wind up having to burn through the bullpen a little bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish off this big to our minor league pregame show as we move closer to the start of Eastern League action with tonight's installment of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Al Kaline will be our man to watch. And he had the long ball working in his last game. Three home runs really carrying his team on his back. Yeah, we see it maybe a couple times a year, but when a guy gets three homers in a game, it's always worth talking about. He got some good pitches to hit, and he just flat out did not miss them. I mean, I've seen guys put fewer out in a home run derby round, so he's clearly got plenty of power in that swing of his. And who knows, maybe he'll put on another show in this one. I wouldn't put it past him. All right, pregame festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. Continuing coverage of minor league baseball is on the air. Independence Day action as we've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Erie Sea Wolves and the Binghamton Mets. Al Kaline will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. to the alley in right center and they'll have a two out base runner in fact maybe good for extra bases and he'll round it and try for third and he is in there just not going to be denied that time as he's into third with his eighth triple of the year Al Kaline will dig in a triple in his first plate appearance of the ball game. Let's go, kid. One time right here. Hey, now we got two. We got two. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right here. Oh, there it goes. Come on, guys. 
and that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Relay, relay, relay. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Well, when you're hot, <laughs> you're hot. There's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club, if not the entire league. And he comes through again with his second hit of the ball game. This one for two bases. Victor Sanchez will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first. Let her rip, let her rip. Yeah, come on, let the buddy. Now a swing and a softly hit on, ground beat it ball. Out, beat it out. Okay, oh, and he up. can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll reach first as they can't. The right Al Kaline will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now a ball hits sharply down the line at third. And this will get by him at third. Down the line. It's a fair ball. And he will beat the throw. It's second and third now with nobody out. And you can see where the third baseman is here. He's up in first double baseman, play depth. Seven as he should be. But if he's playing back with the bases empty, he maybe has a shot at this ball. Pick up an insurance run here on the sacrifice fly. The way their starter's throwing, he may not even need it. But I bet he'll be grateful for that extra cushion, no doubt. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Throw down to third is thrown away right down the left field line. Come on, get out, get out, get and he out. will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. When you're already losing, the one thing you can't do is give away more runs. I mean, you're already in the hole. The last thing you want to do is keep digging, but that's what's happening right here. Things are going from bad to worse now. Al Kaline will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. Around second now heading for third. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Yeah, getting one triple in a game is rare enough, but getting two is something you might see once a year. But just like the last one, he hits second base here under a full head of steam and makes it into third with his second triple of the ball game. The bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top player of the game. Yeah, two hits for him in the ballgame. Both of them doubles, and that really paced his guys to fix it. All right, tonight's double-A Eastern League action is drawing nearer as we welcome you back to our minor league pregame show with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Al Kaline will be our focus. He's coming off a very nice game in which he racked up four hits and just looked dialed in at the plate. Yeah, anytime you get yourself four base knocks in a game, you're doing something right. You might have gotten a couple of gifts in terms of good pitches to hit, but you know, it's not about the pitches you get, it's what you do with them. And from what I saw, the balls were flying all over the yard off his bat. That performance was big for his team, and I'm sure they're hoping he can do it again in this one. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Erie Seawolves and the Binghamton Mets. Al Kaline will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Al Kaline. Hey, let's 
go now. One time. One time. Here we go. Right now. Go. And the sixth inning will start with a swing and a routine ground ball to short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man... MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Erie Sea Wolves and the Binghamton Mets. Al Kaline will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Around second now heading for third. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Well, I think they've seen enough of this guy for the weekend. He's absolutely eating them alive. And he's at it again as he drives this one for two bases. Al Kaline will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Around third and being waved on home. And he will score as well. And they've pushed the lead up to 3-0 now. Well, when you're hot, <laughs> you're hot. And there's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club, if not the entire league. And he comes through again with his second hit of the ball game. This one for two big. Al Kaline will step in. He doubled home a couple this last time. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Lenny Rogers will stand in for the third time now. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Around third and being waved on hold. And he will score as well. And things are getting really interesting now. It's back to a one-run ball game. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one.